Good afternoon, Sarah. Second viewing of the day. And we are at what could be an absolutely fabulous stone built, well, large stone family home, aren't we? Huge old Kinter. Yeah, we've got 370 square meters of build, all in stone, obviously in various states of disrepair, but we think that probably over 50% of the walls could be set. Oh, no, more than that. Yeah. And you can have absolutely, I mean, when we show you just some of the, I mean, you can probably just see the stone lintel um, there. Some of the, the, the stones in here are absolutely enormous. But we've also got 2,700 square metres of completely flat land, the lovely Aira uh, threshing circle, and the stone cottage that was all traditionally attached to that, which was for the wheat. Um, and we've got about at least eight or ten walnut trees probably more huge loads of walnuts so maybe should we go and have a look at the the area and the, the garden yeah i mean this is just giving you a shot of the extent of the house but afterwards we'll walk all the way along it and you'll just see how long it is it's huge it could be absolutely amazing it is i mean it's obviously a project uh, i mean for example this wall you know, you're not going to be able to keep that, but you'll be able to keep no, that. No, you'll be able to, so it could mixture. be rebuilt in stone. The stone Absolutely. is here and you can get local stone, Got all use the stone. <laughs> all the materials are here. Yeah. Or, you know, almost all. Yep. Um, so the boundary, it is walled. It's walled along here. Oh, this is one of those trees that they make reeds out of. I think, in the winter when they cut them and you can weave with them. Oh, okay. I've always Interesting. Them. Didn't know that. But yeah, um, lots and lots of walnut trees, big established walnut trees. And then here we have our era, which is a really big one. Yeah, it's a big threshing circle actually, isn't it? Um, and the wall, the boundary, there's quite a good, there's four meters of this side of the wall there obviously that would need the back wall building up and a roof going on it but it could be an outside entertainment area or possibly a little studio yeah depends um yeah it'd make a fantastic barbecue house wouldn't it yeah and the area itself would make a you know a great you know put a pagoda over it oh uh, and you've got something really swish yes oh yeah, I just did that. I think we probably did the same thing. Yeah. Now, if we look this way, I think we might have to actually just walk up to that olive tree, for example, so that you can, because they've cleared the land, but unfortunately they've left sort of a dead tree in the middle of it, <laughs> obscuring the beautiful view. It's the start of some firewood. Um, we do into Sarah, but looking over here, the the land dog legs, doesn't it? Because we've got a boundary wall, as you can see here. Yeah. Oh, of course it does. Yeah. And yeah. And then it's it popped out to the right here. Yeah. I mean, this is great soil. Yeah, I was just thinking that. It is really, really good it's soil. Farming land. Yeah. It's got its own water. Um, so you could you could live self-sufficiently on here quite easily. Oh, of course. I think where's the well? Isn't it an enormous thing over there? <laughs> right. Yeah, so yeah. it's bounded on the right-hand side there with the, with the big oak trees. Yeah, I'll just pan back to that. Yeah. Those are the big oak trees. They're inside the boundary. And then it comes down and across. You can just see the tape in the post there. Yeah. And then it goes into the wall. Yeah, you can see it quite clearly. Yeah. So it's very nearly... And the views are square. lovely, aren't they? Sorry? The views are lovely. Yeah, over there, long distance. Yeah. Flat lands, nice. Yeah. And then as it comes back up here, it turns back into, or does it? No, I think I'm looking at the neighbour's gate. You are looking at the neighbour's gate. Looking at the neighbour's gate. Okay, before I start including other people's property in this one. <laughs> so yes, it's the walnut trees, isn't it? Those three yeah. walnut trees and yeah. a big pile of stone. Now the building behind was actually you can't really see that at the moment. Okay. But um, what well, you can actually the... see is the uh, is the back of the house and the um, the well. Yeah. 
at the moment. But yeah, as we get closer, I'll swing around and there is a municipal building, isn't there? Yeah, well, it was it was actually built by the villagers. It's only a small hamlet they were in. Yeah. But they built it so they could have their fest there. So it's very rarely used, but when the fest is here, once a year, they have the barbecues out the back there. Yeah. And if you wanted to grow something up there and, and sort of hide it, you could. There wouldn't be a problem. No, you could use a little line of fir trees or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, as you can see, we've also got quite a lot of fig trees. Yeah. Now there, oh actually they must be green figs because I keep thinking, oh they're not ripe. They're not ripe. No, well, I did this the other day. And there's there's a couple gone. of ripe ones. I can see one up there. You've had enough figs today. <laughs> Is that ripe? Yummy. Really nice. Okay, lovely. Okay, I didn't behind know Sarah. Control behind Sarah is the well. Yep. So that that provide water for the uh, your vegetable plots and whatever else you wanted. So all of this stone building oh, here, so much the, of it. All it's just absolutely tons of it. I mean, three hundred and seventy square meters is a big house. You can see at the end. Should we go in somewhere? Well, it's all we, a bit disjointed. It is a bit disjointed, and it's not. It's well, not we that. We can't get through everywhere because, although they have done a really good job of clearing out quite a lot, it's not everything. <laughs> you can see that this was the old. This is the house. Yeah. I mean, they've still got the kitchen cupboard. Well, actually, look, they're really pretty. Well, they were. They had patterns in. It's quite unusual. That's that's a posh one. These are very traditional Portuguese cupboards, but you don't often get them with all the cutouts like that. No. But then it was a grand manor house. It was it? a grand house, yeah. But even so, a grand manor house, they were still their bedrooms. Yeah, of still course. The little bedrooms. I mean, you'd stay, you'd save the stone lintels and stuff. Otherwise, you'd probably just knock down the, the rest of the interior walls. Well, yeah. you could rebuild them. Actually, no, all, all it's about lintel. That's bonkers. Yeah, no, they're just, um, yeah, it's really hard. Really, and it's dressed stone let me on just, front. Um, try and get in because it's diff difficult with the light. If you see how wide it is, I mean, yeah, it's wider than me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they are just enormous. You have, you pay a fortune for those now. And the wall at the top here. I can't get there. So. I know you can't see, but actually it's in quite good condition. Yeah. Most of the, most of the exterior walls, especially, yeah. are still in good nick. I mean, there's the back one that really isn't, but the stone's all there. And what stone isn't there, you can get from the garden walls. You can locally source. If you want, you know, if you wanted to keep it all original stone, if it was me, I'd want to keep it, you know, all stone and expose it. Absolutely. Because well, you know what's bonkers is that this has all been painted. Deed yeah, I mean, that's so, <laughs> that's so common here, isn't it? You've got this wonderful stone and they go and whitewash it. Whitewash. Yeah. Um, but, where do you want to go? Do you want to poke your head in? We can try and get through, aren't we? I mean, one thing we've, we've missed, but actually it doesn't, is, is that bit on the end there yeah. is the old kitchen, but the chimney is falling down on the inside. There. Yeah. That's on the left-hand side. That's the very end, which we haven't been in. No, yeah. It's been in this bit. But actually, did you show that you can... Or maybe I should go back and show that you can actually go straight through. There's a doorway there into that. No, room. I think we noticed that in, into another okay. room. But, yeah, obviously the door... It's actually really wide as well. It's yeah. not just long and thin. No, the house has dimensions. <laughs> for sure. We'll go through there afterwards, I think. Okay. This bit, I can't really... Oh, yes, but it's more fantastic. Now, here you can see the height. And I don't know whether you... Well, the height of this part. Yeah, well, this is the tallest, but everything else is one story. It's yeah. really two-story, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, Does the square metres include that uh, upper level? I'd have to have another look at the paperwork. I, I mean, whichever way around. I mean, it's massive, isn't it? This could be a five, six bedroom house. For that. It's, it's such a shame because if you look at the, I mean, you can't keep them at all, but the size of the beams. Yeah, no. Absolutely colossal. 
Yeah. Huge. It yeah, was I'm built to last. It needs to, it needs to be bought before another winter gets done to it. We've got some very old fashioned guttering here. Look. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to get a little shot of that. That's fantastic. That's probably, at this one point, we're going, <laughs> that was going into the well, isn't it? Fill it up. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Talk about heated oh, rubbing. We'll get to from the front. Okay. Because I can't clearly can't go through there. Yeah. Again, we've got these enormous lintels here. And they've got see the holes here. Yeah. Where they and here. So that's where the pegs are from the door would have been. Yeah. And the door would have opened and that's the old hinges. Yeah, I mean, it's just ginormous, isn't it? Yeah. So let's go up here and through this next door. It would be such an amazing build. You don't get finding this size property in stone. Oh, no, it's very rare. I mean, it's a project, yeah. Yeah, really, really, really it's rare. Got what you want, and it's really not that much of a project. <laughs> well, no, it is, darling. Building a house from new. I mean, look at that. No, point. no, no. I mean, it's, it's not the same thing at all. No, it's not the same thing at all, but it, it's. A similar, it's a similar undertaking, to be honest. Yeah. But the the end result is, of course, completely different. different. Look at that! It had two locks on it. It's a double lock door. Yeah. I and mean, a house, a well-appointed house, um, you know, completely built of exposed stone of this size, worth an absolute fortune. You can't buy them. <laughs> no. I know. Oh no, we're okay. Well, we just did actually sell one, didn't we? About half a million euros. But um, yeah, just in stone alone, it's actually yeah. You're not just building, buying a building plot here. You have got the most amazing materials to work with. That would cost a fortune to get those big lintels. It's anything like that it would cost an absolute fortune, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, the stone. Okay, so here we're just going to try and show you as much as we can because you can see they're all separate rooms and. There again, you can see the height and then what was the second floor. It's just a little bit tricky because Paul can't see where he's going. Um, but we are back. A funny square bit here. A little bit unusual. But we're now back in the air. We're some, the end we, is not going to help much. We looked through that door and I mentioned the amazing beams because they were so huge. Yeah. Um, well, we're back in that room. Well, we can have a better, uh, yeah, you get a slightly better pan of the room here. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's just going to pull the ceiling down, but the walls are all straight as anything. Well, they're so thick. I mean, actually, what? It was extremely well built. Yeah. So through there, you've got the end courtyard. Yeah. Which we'll go and have a look in a minute. Do you know what? No, you couldn't, Sarah. Last now. <laughs> I mean, you could. I mean, possibly. Oh, it's actually really solid. Yeah, I know, but it's been it's been wet too much. Maybe you could just keep it as a feature. Yeah, I mean that's treat entirely it, possible. Treat it, keep it as a feature because yeah. they're both. Oh, they're, they're, it doesn't need treating. It's just all the uh, damage from the wet and the moss and the, <laughs> all the rest of it I've done it. I mean, you no, could scrape it. Structure in above it, wouldn't you? And keep yeah. Them. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We've probably got fossils galore in these rocks. <laughs> you are limestone, isn't it? So... Yeah, it's not the. Is it limestone? I'm not entirely sure. Um. No. I think it makes it probably a mixture. It's a bit harder than limestone. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah, if anyone knows what this kind of... There you go, there's a fossil here. This is like what we've got on our land, this stone. Well, that's limestone then. Because what we've got on our land is limestone. Right, OK. And it does look very similar to yeah. that. So, so, I mean, lots of fabulous stone walls to recover. I mean, really are. I mean, it's on a massive scale, isn't it? The whole thing. And I've got another bramble stuck to my... Paul keeps getting attacked by brambles. 
not being able to watch where I'm going. Look, look at this. This is just yeah. That has to stay as well. Yeah. But one thing you do have to want is that well, so you'd incorporate all of this into house or the courtyard garden. I mean, walls, garden, lovely. But it's got a roof on it, hasn't it? But something you do need to see is the date on here. This is 1841. And that's clearly led into what was the animal feeding troughs in there. Yeah. 1841. So the animals got the dated part of the property. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> this would have probably been the original build date, wouldn't it? Yeah, you just look at these. They're just, look, I can't. Yeah. I can't read. I mean, it, it is on such a wonderful scale. You've got two. Just fabulous. Yes, they're holes. It's all holes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They're just holes. <laughs> Right. Why would you have two? Should we walk along the front? Yes, come on. I'm waffling now with my... Yeah, you're completely sticky. waffling. So, yes, OK. So, to try and get... Oh, God, neither of us can walk straight today. I don't know what's going on. So, if you take it from the very end, where you've got... Go back to the right and you can see the chimney. Yeah. The, uh, the chimney's coming down underneath, but on top it still looks... So, just to get the full... I mean, should I walk it? No, I don't, you don't need to I mean, do that. I mean, it's just massive. <laughs> it's at least 20 metres, isn't it? Or more? Oh, God, more, much more than that. You're probably not meant to say that. But, you know. I mean, at some point, this was added onto that. They were separate buildings. Yeah. But it's all registered now, and that's the, uh, that's the important thing. Referring to a building. And it's all stone, which means that there will be no problem whatsoever in realising everything. Here. All of it. That is built out of stone. Yeah, all of it basically. So I and mean it's a big Hamlet, as you it's see. a big it's a big project, but uh wow. <laughs> We'd both take it on. We, well maybe a few years ago I would have done. I'll be a bit scared now. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Oh not unless I could get uh, afford to just get everyone else to come and do it. <laughs> ah well yeah, okay. Yeah, doing it ourselves, we might be a bit yeah. beyond that now. So this area itself is also really enormous. Now, obviously, it was the animal pens with these block-built pens inside, but again, all the exterior is stone. stone. Yeah. 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 And then that, so that's the window I looked through with those beams I was knocking there. So this in itself, actually, if the rest was covered, this this is a lovely courtyard garden. Yeah, it could be a fantastic courtyard garden. You don't need to use it for parking, do you? <laughs> got loads of. Oh no, you don't. Oh, we're going to start talking about garages. You've got <laughs> loads of space on the land. There is loads of space and loads of access, and you could make a carport by the area or yeah. whatever you wanted to. And this would make a fabulous. Uh, caught your garden, as you yeah, said. Yeah, really I'm nice. probably with you on that one on this occasion. Oh my word! I know. So where we where are we? We are literally ten minutes from Pombal. Yeah. Um, great yeah, fast location. access as well fast. because uh, you know the IC8 is not far away at all. No. Um, but it's a quiet village. There's some beautifully done up properties here as well. So it's obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, the point out. Up and coming, but people are investing in, because people who want to work into Pombal. Um, people don't want to drive very far. No. I mean, I've, I've, I'm having people inquiries telling me, I'm telling them it's five kilometres distance, and they're saying, well, that's too far. <laughs> you obviously don't live where I live. <laughs> <laughs> so 12, 12 13 um, minutes, and you're on the A1, aren't you? Equidistant between Porto and um, Lisbon. Lisbon. Yeah. You know, it's 150 kilometres. And Pombal's got a train station. Yeah, Pombal's got a train station, a big bus station. It's a nice, it's a nice big town, actually. So yeah. we really are in a lovely country village, yeah. just 10 minutes from a big town for, for schools and everything like that. Not a big deal. It's literally 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is either a business or a large family home. It right? is. Yeah, it's one or the other. Okay, well, I think we've done it all, haven't we? Well, as much as we can, 
as much as we can get into. Fishing in the prettiest of spots, but no. I guess this is it. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Someone come and take on this fantastic project. I would if I could. Oh look, I've seen. I keep seeing more things. No. You see. Oh, uh, what, what are we seeing now? Uh, and now they're they're. What do you call them? Sticking out from the side of the windows. Oh, for holding the um, plants. No, they weren't for plants. <laughs> they actually put timbers through them. There's on both of the windows. Yeah. And they have a timber and they'd hang a roof, a hanging roof over them. But they do very, oh yes. Yeah, they're on that window as well. Yeah, they were just to hold timbers, which you'd, you'd put a, a, a suspended roof. Yeah. No, they we lean the to. Outhouse. Yeah. But hanging baskets would look easily and nice. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Um, he's probably going to cut out most of what I said today. Um, thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.